Hello guys, this is DJ Studios and welcome to my review of Sherlock. And today I'm reviewing the second episode in series 4. Um, so I've got quite a lot to talk about in this episode. Like a lot to talk about. I did write down quite a bit of stuff I want to talk about. Uh, but there will be massive spoilers during this um, episode. Or during this review. So, you know, go and watch something else and then come back later. Um, go and watch it and then come back later. Uh, the first thing that I like to say is I think that Toby Jones does a very good job of playing a villain. The only thing is that his villain kind of sucks because Mariotti is the the big guy, and it's literally like um, Marvel films that have bad bil villains because Loki is a big guy, you know, that will is beating them in their master plans. Um, uh, I also like the fact that it's set at a hospital because hospitals are creepy places. Like they are dark and people don't like hospitals. It's a b good place to put a murder as well because it will scare people. Uh, as well as the fact that we see the shots of Sherlock being almost strangled and smothered while he's sitting in the hospital bed and he can't really do anything. And I think that uh, the the hopelessness really doesn't help him, and it makes it quite uncomfortable to watch as well. Uh, I also think that Miss Hudson has a bigger part to play in this episode than she did in last week's. Last week her part was very small. What what she did was very little, and then this time she has this thing with Micro, which she just hates him. Uh, she tries to save Sherlock, and when she does. Um, and then she also kind of involves the beginning bit when the car comes in, pulls in uh, in some kind of police chase, and out comes Miss Hudson instead of Sherlock, who we presumed to be in there. Um, the car, well, she comes out of the car, and she has Sherlock in the boot. That, that was great. Um, it is a lot darker this episode than it was last week and I think it's been a lot darker this series than it has been previously. There has literally been no funny quips between uh, between Sherlock and Watson. There was nothing like that. It was all um, very serious, very business like this. It was very, very, very dark I think in that respect of it. Um, I also thought that there was there was a lot of grief in this episode. Um, I feel like the grief was important to put into the episode, but didn't make me feel sorry. I just wanted to see Toby Jones's character more. Uh, I I understand why he's imagining his dead wife, but I don't really think we need to know really it develops a character that we don't need developing uh, and I think that they should have just ended their they should have tied up all loose ends with with the character if they were going to um, if they were going to kill someone if they were going to kill Mary why did they tie up all most of Martin Martin Freeman's plot lines don't know uh, the second thing I want to talk about is woman one, two, and three, as I've written it down. So this uh, one woman is playing three identities. So uh, I'm going to name each identity. So one, Sherlock, Sherlock's woman that he spends the night with slash daughter of um, bad guy Toby Jones. Second one, the uh, daughter of Toby Jones, but less mental. Uh, third one, the therapist that Tom Watson goes to. I noticed the therapist, you see. I noticed that that was the same person, and I thought that whether they were going to come back to that, and they ended up doing that, and I think that's a good thing. Um, but I always wondered whether um, they... Because there was this brilliant piece that when they kind of got a point and they twisted it on his head to make it um, surprise you like the Sherlock coming out of the car thing when they twisted it on the head and then it turned into something else um, and I think they've done the same with this so they've made what we presumed to be a brother earlier in the episode becomes a sister instead and I think that is a great plot point for anything really it's basically like I am your father um, 
Maybe the scene could have been written with some kind of one-liner. That might make it better. Uh, but I noticed that I noticed the therapist was definitely the same woman as someone that we've seen before, and I thought it was a woman that we saw before earlier, like in the room, and then the same woman that was on the bench. But I didn't realise that this woman that was on the bench was actually uh, what Sherlock thought was an hallucination was actually real, and I think that was interesting uh, and now there's some rumors on the internet that Sh Martin is dead now what's John Watson is dead there's a reason that people think that because of the fact that she shot the gun uh, she shot the gun and he died people thought that he died because of the blood that we saw kind of cover the screen as it went into the titles now I'm going to study this later but um, when it goes like that it's possible that the gun sound effect isn't there because I don't remember seeing her pushing the trigger um, you see so she might have literally just been a bit of editing uh, power and like so she kind of just, you know like they would squeeze the trigger just a little bit to just I don't know it's where they're trying to choose whether to kill them or not and they trying to just squeeze the trigger well why doesn't she why isn't she doing that and what we thought was a bang was then added in the sound effect and then caused it to end hmm? um, and I just want to congratulate that it is a great cliffhanger uh, I do think it was a good cliffhanger. They could have had some terrible cliffhangers, but we actually had a good cliffhanger. And Stephen Moffat, you can write good cliffhangers. Well done, well done, Stephen. Uh, now I'm really looking forward to the next episode. I'm hoping uh, within after next week, uh, I'm going to do a review of Sherlock series one, two, and three, uh, and. Then I'm going to maybe do the Abominable Bride afterwards, a couple of weeks later. Um, the the third episode is to come out on the next Sunday. By the way, uh, I'm planning to get a a video out about that. Maybe if I have time, might come out between this time, between now and uh, Sunday. Uh, I'm also thinking about doing a review, uh, not a review, but a video and I talk about the reason why Sherlock works, the reason why Sherlock is actually interesting, why it actually works, and why people think that it is so great. And I can understand why people, some people might think that it is terrible, like I thought the same with Poldark and the Night Manager, I thought they were boring, but people loved them, and that is the weird thing I want to talk about. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been DIJ Studios. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. And I will see you next time. I'm really close to the camera. Goodbye.